Ever wondered why a good joke makes you feel happy? That's science, not just your weird sense of humor. Now, have you ever pondered about what truly makes us happy? It's a question as as old as time. Yet the answer remains as elusive as ever. The pursuit of happiness, a universal endeavor, is much more than a chase for moments of joy. It's a complex tapestry woven from our emotional state, our life satisfaction, and how these elements interact in our brains. Just a quick reminder moving on, press the share button if you're finding this content interesting, hit the like button if you're enjoying it, and don't forget to subscribe to keep tabs on our future videos. Let's get back to our main subject now. Happiness isn't merely about feeling good in the present, it also incorporates satisfaction with where you stand in life. It's a delicate equilibrium between the now and the future, between pleasure and fulfillment. It's about cherishing the present while also yearning for more, for richer experiences and deeper bonds. But what sparks this emotion of happiness? Why do some things make us feel good while others leave us feeling unsatisfied? How does our brain process joy, satisfaction, and well-being? To fully grasp happiness, we need to dive into the science that underlies. The science of happiness is not as abstract as you might think. It, it's a fascinating interplay of biology and psychology, a delicate dance of chemicals in our brains. Let's unpack this a little bit. At the heart of our happiness lie neurotransmitters, the body's chemical messengers. Think of neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin as the stars of our internal happiness show. Dopamine, often dubbed the reward chemical, gives us a sense of satisfaction and pleasure. It's released when we achieve a goal or indulge in something we enjoy. Then there's serotonin, a neurotransmitter that helps regulate our mood, sleep, appetite, and even social behavior. It's like the body's natural mood stabilizer. When serotonin levels are healthy, we feel more balanced and content. And let's not forget oxytocin, affectionately known as the love hormone. This little gem fosters trust and strengthens social bonds, making us feel connected and secure. It's a key ingredient in the recipe for happiness. But the production and release of these neurotransmitters aren't just a matter of biology. They're influenced by a variety of factors, including genetics, our environment, and importantly, our actions. For instance, certain genetic factors can predispose us to higher or lower levels of these happiness chemicals. Our environment and lifestyle can either boost or hinder their production. A sunny day can increase your serotonin levels. A good workout can spike your dopamine, and a warm hug can release a wave of oxytocin. Our actions, too, play a significant role. Engaging in activities that we love, spending time with loved ones, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, and practicing mindfulness, for example, can all contribute to a more robust and resilient happiness chemistry. So the next time you're seeking a dose of happiness, remember it's not just about chasing an elusive emotion, it's about understanding and nurturing this complex biochemical reaction taking place within us. Happiness then is not just an emotion, it's a biochemical reaction. The way we perceive our reality can greatly affect our happiness. Dwell on that thought for a moment. Now let's dive into the concept of a growth mindset. This mindset is all about embracing challenges, persevering through obstacles, and viewing failures as opportunities to learn and grow. It's a shift from a fixed mindset, which sees abilities as set in stone, to a mindset that believes abilities can be developed. So, how does this relate to happiness? Well, when we see challenges as opportunities for growth, we're less likely to be discouraged by setbacks. Instead of feeling defeated, we feel motivated to try harder, learn more, and ultimately succeed. It's a cycle of positivity that fuels our happiness. Moreover, a growth mindset fosters a love for learning. This love for learning can lead to more experiences, opportunities, and success in life, all of which can boost our happiness levels. Possessing a growth mindset can significantly amplify our happiness. Can wealth creation lead to happiness? This question has long been a point of contemplation for many. It's crucial to understand that wealth isn't solely about the accumulation of material possessions or financial gain. It's more nuanced, more multifaceted. Wealth creation strategies such as investing, entrepreneurship, and financial literacy can indeed contribute to personal growth and happiness. For instance, investing allows us to work towards financial freedom, providing us with the liberty 
to pursue our passions and interests. This freedom can subsequently lead to a sense of fulfillment and joy. Entrepreneurship, on the other hand, enables us to create value in the world to bring our unique ideas to life. There's a profound sense of satisfaction in knowing that you've made a difference, that you've left a mark, and this satisfaction can significantly contribute to our overall happiness. Financial literacy, meanwhile, empowers us with the knowledge to make informed decisions about our money. It gives us the confidence to take control of our financial future, thereby reducing stress and fostering happiness. So wealth creation isn't just about the dollars in our bank accounts. It's about investing in personal development, in experiences, and in creating a life that aligns with our values and aspirations. It's about the freedom to live life on our terms. Wealth, when viewed as a means for personal growth, can indeed contribute to our happiness. Why should we prioritize happiness in our everyday life? This is a question that has a multitude of answers, all of which we've been exploring together. We've talked about the science of happiness, how it affects our brains and overall well-being. We've discussed how a positive mindset and a growth-oriented perspective can pave the way for more opportunities, experiences, and success in life. Let's consider for a moment the story of Michael. Michael was stuck in a job he didn't like, feeling stressed and unfulfilled. But when he made a conscious decision to pursue happiness, to adopt a growth mindset, everything changed. He started seeking joy in small things, learned new skills, and eventually made a career switch that brought him much more satisfaction. Michael's story is a testament to the power of prioritizing happiness and how it can dramatically change the course of our lives. We've also delved into wealth creation techniques and how investing in personal growth is key to achieving long-lasting fulfillment. It's not just about accumulating riches, it's about creating a wealth of experiences, relationships, and personal growth. In the face of life's challenges, happiness becomes our compass, guiding us towards resilience and adaptability. It helps us to navigate the highs and lows, to find the silver lining in every cloud. It's not just about feeling good in the moment, but about creating a foundation for a fulfilling life. Happiness isn't just about feeling good, it's about unlocking the potential of our minds and lives. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the Science of Happiness, A Journey to Joy and Wealth. Your journey towards understanding happiness, its science, and its deep-rooted effects on our everyday life doesn't have to end here. If you found value in this video, if it sparked a thought, a conversation, or even a smile, please share it with your friends and family. Let's spread the joy and the knowledge together. And don't forget, your likes and subscriptions help us continue to bring you more insightful content like this. So. Hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and join us in our pursuit of happiness. Remember, happiness isn't just a destination, it's a journey. And we're glad to be on this journey with you. Stay happy, stay curious, and keep exploring the science of happiness with us. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about feeling good, it's about unlocking the potential of our minds and lives. See you in the next video.